weight shift. There's a lot of confusion about what we should do with weight transfer. So let's clear it up right now. What are we really trying to accomplish? We're trying to create solid contact with power. And if we use weight shift properly, we can accomplish both. There are those who are teaching us the stack and tilt theory, for example, that we leave the weight on the left side or the lead side all the way through the swing. Well, we can make solid contact that way, but we can't really deliver our power very well. So like a pitcher winding up or a baseball player in the batter's box winding up against this push-off leg, we can get a lot more power that way. So what we want to do in the backswing is we want to get onto that leg as early as we can. I think Bobby Jones probably said it best. Anything that you don't get turned behind the golf ball, you don't get to use as a source of power back up against it. So get that left side behind the golf ball. Get on this foot right away. March and then turn. Now we're loading up that leg. It's resisting. It's not going out here. Our spine's not going out there. It's staying there. Load that up. Now, step over onto this side, transfer that weight, get that weight shift, so you're moving from behind the ball to back up against it. That's powerful. Now, if you can do that without sliding your spine, there. If your center of gravity stays there, you'll make solid contact every time. So transfer the weight. That's powerful. Don't move the center of gravity. Weight shift. That's power. Great whoosh. Don't be afraid to transfer weight. Just don't move the center of gravity. Golf struck. Better golf right now.